Hello everyone and welcome back to Cattails here in the beautiful winter forest with Mossy who is getting ready to go and use her spying skills down south where rumor has it the mystic and even the mountain interestingly enough colonies are invading some of our prime beach combing beaches where we like to go and gather up those really cool looking seashells. So we need to go down there and we need to see if we can kind of force a little bit of a, uh, a takeover using our spy skills, aka diplomacy, but ooh, there looks to be a little bit of food. Okay, gotta get the food first. Okay, noted. Squirrels and chipmunks apparently have ridiculous... Go, 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 come on, Mossy! Oh, he was so smart! Oh, the smart little guy! I think... There, Bailey, help me out here! Oh, Bailey, we almost got him! We almost got him together! We almost had some dual hunting going on there. Someday, I'm gonna be the best fighter in all the colony. Just you wait and see. It'd be kind of fun if you could do like mock battles with some of your your colony mates and like gain a little bit of experience as a result. But we'll have to we'll have to wait and see what the full game is going to offer. There's still a lot of time to go. All right, but we're gonna work down and we're gonna see if we can use our diplomacy skills. Thankfully, this uh, road is closed. There's never any cars on it, so we don't have to worry. And let's see, Overstone's West. And there's a battle raging just to the south with the mountain colony. So let's go see if they need our help or if we might be able to spend the time kind of working on spy skills and diplomacy instead. And then we'll see if there's any really cool, whoa! Oh boy! Mountain, you guys are pretty big. Oh my gosh, they have a petunia too. Oh my goodness. All right, I think that we're gonna make it. Come on, Casper, take that. Yes, the battle is won! Not our usual thing to participate in battles like that. And I think Mossy would be like frantically licking and cleaning herself. And we're gonna feed her all these winter berries. Yulran, that was fantastic. Oh, you saw me? I was trying to be sneaky. Well, you did a fantastic job on the battle. Sorry, did you say something? I haven't had a good night's sleep in a while, so I'm a little out of it. Well, Prudence, are you are you nervous about like the the mountain colony? Because I think we just completely yeah we completely destroyed them. There's no need for you to worry. We now have complete control over the West Beach, which is fantastic as long as it really forks over um, <gasps> scallops. Some of the really fun seashells that I love collecting with Mossy. I wonder what drove Mountain Clan to like come down, or excuse me, <clears throat> Mountain Colony to come down this far. Ooh, there's some bunny, bunny action. Oh, dang it. I think the bunny, oh, Yulra. You're, you're <laughs> oh, you, you weren't being very sneaky. You scared the bunny away and we could have eaten that. All right, oh, and there's a seagull. I mean, I'm one to talk scaring seagulls away. And it doesn't look like there's any easy to reach fish, but Mossy really doesn't. Oh, there's the seagull riding the waves. I didn't know that they'll do that. Oh, I got him. Good job, Mossy. Can we get him? We got the dove. Oh, it was a dove, not a seagull. Well, in my defense, it being here along the beach makes me think it looks like a seagull. All right. And yes, wow, her hunting really has gone up because of the increase in her hunting skill. That is fantastic. It doesn't look like there's any seashells to collect for the day though. Whoops, a daisy. And here's the river mouth. I wonder where would our spy skills? Ooh, and there's another fight going on. All right, let's go over and help out. We did so good on the last one. I want to go over and help out and see if maybe we can help out the fight that's happening. The delta up here is frozen, but it's not frozen further to the south, so that's interesting. All right, we almost drowned in this delta, so I always get nervous by it. Let's see, one more over. We need to be careful. I think that Mossy is getting a little bit too comfortable with jumping into these battles, but it is kind of fun. There's a bit of an adrenaline rush to it for sure. All right, let's see how it's going. Peanut, did we win? Chester, whoa, fluffers. Come on. Ah, they're really strong. I think I can take a... We won! We won, we won, we won! All right, good job, Rain. I'll do whatever it takes to keep our borders safe and secure. Flame! Are you out here looking for herbs, too? I'm about to be. I'm not doing very well, apparently. I'm, I'm kind of beat up. All right, let's see. Birch. So they're doing quite well. Did we take over? We took over this territory, too. Look at us go. Constantly having to keep our borders secured and really patrolling them. Uh, we might come over and maybe do, like, near the rumbling stones or the rushing... Maybe at the rushing rocks. 
Yeah, let's go up to the rushing rocks and we'll do a little bit of reconnaissance up there and try working our diplomacy skill to see what we might be able to snag. We'll kind of peek to the south just really quickly though. And let's go ahead and eat, eat a dove just because I think Mossy, she doesn't really have, a, a, like we don't really have a need at all. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a little white mouse. Ah, dang it, it got away. I was going to casually find that mouse to offer up to a certain scout, but hmm. All right, let's see, anything up here? Mossy really is becoming, oh, a frog. Oh wow, the light came on. Ah, dang it, frog got away. Well, oh, smart frog. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> he got so close and yet we got so far. All right, well, the frog won that time. And we'll wiggle on up. But I feel pretty good about what we've done, guys. Other than being able to maybe get the inventory expansion so we can carry around more food and investigate down to the bottom story, uh, the very bottom layer of the mines, I feel like Mossy has really accomplished a lot in her first year here in the forest colony. Are we missing some secrets of the colony? Something more that we could possibly do to contribute to Mossy's story? Hmm, I would love for you guys to let me know. I know, I don't know about you guys, but I am so, so, so excited for when the time comes that we have uh, the expansions and we have the ability when the beta or maybe the like full game comes out to actually have kits and to be able to follow their story and to be able to find out the stories of what the mystic and the mountain colonies are like. That's going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. And then being able to, ah, kill her! No, don't live up to your name, okay? Don't live up to your name. Okay, come this way. I need a little bit more, a little bit more trees. Here, come here, come here. Well, come on, we're gonna fight. Don't get me wrong. I just wanna give myself a little bit more, oh boy. Ugh, I'm already wounded. How dare you? Oh dear, this isn't going to work. Run for it, guys. Oh my goodness. In fact, take this, killer. I just, I just gained a whole bunch of like, diplomacy to this area oh gosh was that the spot we were thinking about taking over it totally was okay let's go drag ourselves to dock because we did just meet a killer in the forest and he almost took us out so all right almost home my goodness that was a little bit dramatic all right there's home and let's go talk to doc no doc doc why doc i need healing a strong scent of herbs and flowers waves from the door. Darn it. All right. So Doc is not going to be helping us out. And let's go to sleep. And then hopefully that'll help us heal up a little bit. Maybe I can nibble. I'm going to nibble on some of the Valerian we've stocked up. There we go. Oh, I forgot. That just helps with movement speed. That's not going to heal me at all. All right. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. And then I can eat some of the golden seal. And I guess the abundance of golden seal kind of shows the abundance of how we could heal up if we really needed to. It'd be fun if there was a way to garden up the flowers just a little bit, like a broken flower pot that you could put. Uh, I'm gonna have to just use these, I think. Like a broken flower pot that you could go ahead and put the, um, oh darn, I forgot it doesn't just like heal a ton, that you could put one plant in and then maybe get more plants uh, over like a long term. All right, duck, I need healing. All right, 14 mules, <laughs> treat me fully, like fully, please. There we go. Thank you, Doc. And let's actually talk to him because we haven't really worked very hard at building up a lot of the relationships just yet. You've got a long life ahead of you, kid. Longer than Doc's. I'll tell you that for sure. Doc, that's a little morbid. You better make the most of it, you hear? Go out and do something great, but make sure you stop to smell the roses along the way. One thing to, it's one thing to be successful, but it's another thing to be happy. A truly successful cat can find out how to do both. <laughs> Everybody in Forest Colony is very poetic. They think very deeply about these things. Um, I wonder if Doc would like winter berries. He would probably just like some of this. Let's give him, well, the golden seal is gonna be for the celebration that we're gonna have tomorrow. So let's go ahead and put this back down. And Doc, should I give you something? I'm gonna give Doc one of these these marigolds that we have tucked up under Ember's tree. All right, Doc, whoops, sorry about that. I need to actually get the, the gift for you out first, please. There we go. And here you go. What a swell gift, Mossy. You're a real partner. <laughs> Wonderful, so we're building up a relationship with him. Who are you and what do you want from me? No offense, but I only hang out with the coolest cats. And you? And well, 
We happen to have a scarf and a bell on, Missy. I see nothing gracing your snowy white pelt. Hm. Mm, maybe it'll be- No, I didn't want to eat that! Ugh. <laughs> maybe it'll be a little bit less white if we give her some of these- these winter berries. That'll show her- shower her with gifts. Take that. And speaking of gifts, Scout- <gasps> We have a mouse! Scout, I just happened to casually, for some reason- Where'd you go? Have a mouse on me. Well, 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 if it isn't Mossy. Hey, Mossy, do you think you've found your life's purpose yet? Um... I mean, I'm doing a lot of various things, working on the diplomacy of the area, helping to spy for the colony, digging around the mines, collecting up seashells, figuring out to hunt, but honestly, I don't think I've found my life's purpose just yet. Then we're in the same boat. It's a hard topic. I don't think we'll ever know. Well, you know what? Maybe you don't need a deep purpose in life, Scout. Maybe, maybe what you need is just this mouse that I casually found. Just casually. I didn't specifically see it and go, I need to give that to Scout or anything. So, um, so here you go. Oh, wow. I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Mossy. All right. And any, we're developing a good relationship with him. Yay. All right. Oh, look, there's a casual mouse again. Just casually gonna mouse. Get back over here. Don't make me look bad in front of a scout. Oh, we got it. <laughs> All right. So we got another mouse and here's another one. It feels like there's a lot of really good hunting immediately around the colony. Oh, no. Of course, we had to miss the one that was like literally right in front of him. Oh, well. And then how are the fights today? There's a fight going down at Overstones and there's a fight going down at the forest outskirts. So why don't we attend to both of those? I wouldn't say that Mossy is like a fighting cat, but I definitely think she's gaining a lot of experience and skill. In fact, how's our experience doing? Let's check that out. I mean, look at that. She has gained a ton of experience and I think it's mostly from participating in some of those fights. So maybe I should upgrade her, her fighting ability actually. Hmm, and forging would be really good to upgrade because the higher up you make forging go, I think the higher the, uh, like, healing results of eating different healing herbs goes. I think there's something else that does that. I could have sworn there was, like, another, another passive skill, but apparently not. And I do want to get summon allies because then we could always have friends with us. So I think that will be, like, by the time spring rolls around, Mossy will have made friends with some of the other cats and we can summon our allies. But let's go win this battle. All right, dun 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 dun. I would also love, oh, there's a little chipmunk. All right, also love to get the chipmunk. And got it. All right, gray squirrel even. It looks like a chipmunk to me. And once we win this battle, we'll go up and we'll win the other battle. Because getting a little bit more experience is probably a good thing. Also, we need to look for more things to collect. Uh, is the battle down here? Okay, one more more things to collect because tomorrow is going to be the 8th of winter when we're going to have that oh, cotton ball take this cotton ball racer ah! cats everywhere cats everywhere muffin take this muffin oh my gosh i'm not made for fighting sparks don't abandon me with your cotton ball oh we won there we go. The battle wasn't so bad. And what do we gain in experience? Not bad. I feel like these battles are really helping us gain experience. And they're definitely helping us to gain territory. Uh, let's drop a little bit of spying. And we'll use our sprint more often. I'm keeping an eye on the cooldown more now. But we'll use our spying. Ah, diplomacy is not done cooling down. Okay, so I can't use our spying skill over here. Ooh, but I want to use it on this bunny. And... Yes! All right! We really are becoming better hunters! That is fantastic! Maybe I will go ahead and upgrade that hunting skill again. Well, I want to save some of our experience so that Mossy can always have some ally friends in certain areas when we're exploring. Because that'll be nice just to feel a little bit... I mean, I guess cats are like lone hunters, but a little bit less alone by having some companions with us would be fun. Kind of like when you have the apprentice in Untold Tales and they follow you around and you feel like you've got your buddy. All right, so we're going to go up and we're going to follow rumors of the fight going on at the forest outskirts. And I think we can actually follow the river. So let's try. Ooh, there was a frog. Let's see how fast we can go. All right, and we'll go. Ooh, and there's a dove. I need to slow down a little bit when it comes to being able to chase down some of the other animals. There's the woodland center. That might be a good place to have like events. It'd be kind of cool if you could have just like random meetings with some of the other cats. Um, let's see. Oh, all right. Almost there, guys. Almost to the battle. There's just nothing growing in the winter. 
We probably should spend some time mining, but we need more Muse for that. That's why we're battling! Because Mossy's desperate for Muse, and fighting is like one of the best ways. There we go! Now we control the Woodland Yacht. And fighting is the best way to grab Muse from uh, from the other other colonies right now. All right, there's one. All right, Hulu, Fern, take this, take this. Fern, oh, Fern's so pretty. All right, we did it. More Muse too. Good job, everyone. I think I can hear something moving in the grass that way. Casper, how are you doing? Please watch where you're going. Eretit. Oh, so cool. I love running into. Oh, ice cream. Hi, how you doing? Wait, what's going on? More fighting! Take that! Yay, we got more Muse! Ice cream! Have you heard of the sickness going around? I hope it stays away from me. <gasps> Could there be like a sickness in camp? Oh my gosh, that would be so devastating. I wonder if there was like a big sickness in camp and then a whole bunch of our territory started getting lost since we would not have as many cats able to defend it. Hmm, that would be an interesting event as well. And we've just got the barest little poke at the Riverbend territory here. I kind of want to go on a big reconnaissance mission at the River Loop at some point in the near future, but Mossy has her special event to think about. We have that special little celebration where we're going to try to give all of the cats, uh, all the cats in the colony, a special gift to sort of have a calm little itty bitty winter moon ceremony. Hopefully we'll remember to do it before the moon actually rises and they all go to bed and we don't see any of them. All right, the river span. Anything down here? Nope, not during winter at least. It'd be kind of funny if you saw like occasional snow cats that you could attack and maybe get like a scarf from. That would be really cute. Or maybe even get pieces of coal for attacking the little snow cats. <laughs> like snow cat snowman. That would be adorable. I like that idea. All right, so we are almost home. And I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna save our muse because I really do want that inventory expansion. It'll probably help out a ton with being able to investigate deeper in the mines. And uh, let's come and say hello to Lyris. Good day to you, my rose. Yes, kindling the burning passion with another cat. It's, I'm thinking about it. Missy? Ah, Missy. Still being a little bit of a diva. Mayor? Hello again. I'm rather busy, but we can chat for a bit if you'd like. I know it gets a little hectic out by the border sometimes, but our guards are doing a great job of keeping us safe. We've got a great plot of land to live on, and the other domains know it. They'd like to have our little spot in the forest if they could. Make sure you say thanks to those that defend us from time to time. They deserve a lot of respect. Thank you, Mayor. All right, uh, that was that was technically me after all, and I am currently low on health as a result, but we'll, we'll attend to it. And let's go ahead and see if we have something we can sell to Ember. Let's see. We're doing better hunting, which actually means we can sell a bit more. And I'm willing to sell... No, I'm not. I was going to be willing to sell one of my scallops, but actually I want to keep it. Uh, and we'll keep... Uh, how much does the winter berry sell for? Okay, we'll sell a couple of winter berries too. Just to get a little bit closer to that 100 views for the inventory expansion. All right, and then I'm going to settle in. And I think I'm going to let Mossy kind of look over her, uh, her winter moon celebrations that she's planning. And we're going to nibble on a rabbit to make sure that we have plenty of health for that special occasion. And then I will see you guys next time when we might drag out some more of her decorations, set everything up, and then be the one to initiate the winter moon celebrations by giving all the cats a special gift and celebrating the fact that winter is almost over and hopefully spring will be back and we had plenty of goldenrod and plenty of little fireflies to light the way through the snow. So I'm not exactly sure how the ceremony will go. Probably just a quiet little day of greeting everyone, but I like the idea of setting up some traditions. So if you guys have ideas for other traditions, like maybe the Great Mouse Hunt Day, where the goal is to gather up as many mice as possible in autumn, or things like that, then do let me know, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!